This one, uh, I'm going to pass this over to Steve. This was a Steve topic here. This is, um, look, we got it right the first time. Okay, we got we got we got we got flack, and uh, we we hit, we nailed it on the head with this with Tuan Brady. Okay, we called it we we called this. I, I'm talking we called it like a month out that he was going to retire. Again, we got a lot of flack. We got a lot of shit from you guys. Okay, not everybody, but we had some haters in there. I saw the comments. I haven't heard from you since. It's been quiet. It's been crickets out there. Okay, hear us out. Tommy Boy is coming back for one more. <laughs> There's no way he can stay retired. There's, There's no, way. no way. Look, even on his own podcast, just the other day, uh, the Let's Go podcast, which is amazing. Uh, I would hate to take any market share away from myself, but you should give it a listen. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. But they asked him, they like, you know, what, what, you know, it was a very unceremonious retirement for the greatest quarterback of all time. It just, it felt like it was just. Like, not even a rash decision. It was like people were reporting on it, and he had never said a word. And there was no there was no parade. There yeah, was it was no really weird, man. Anything for the guy who has seven Super Bowls. Yeah, In 22 play. seasons, it just seemed like a lot. And again, I'm not saying he needs, like, a farewell tour. I think that's weird. Uh, but it, it's just, I don't know, man. It felt, well, but his answer to this, and this was, intriguing to me because he's only been retired per se for a couple of weeks but his response was we'll never say never and i thought that by itself yes means that he isn't giving it up he dude this guy has a fire he is a fight he is a dog he, he's healthy he himself, he's healthy he's, he's not he's age, not 44 he's, years old he's not dwindling by any stretch of the imagination now the question is where does he go right he doesn't go back to new england no way. They're settled. They're not they're, no no shot they do that. Would nope. Tampa take him back? Yes. Do I think In he goes heartbeat. Do I think he yeah. goes to Tampa? No, because he wouldn't have done what he did. Here's yeah, the play. He, he he retired to leave Tampa and to get out of that and to get out of the the, the that situation stuff. Yeah, because he didn't want to keep playing there. He knows where they're where they're at with the salary. Kyle, I think Kyle Trask is the going. guy. I think I, I'm excited for yeah. Kyle Trask. I think he's going to do a great job there. I think they're all in on him. I think I'm glad he got to be behind Tom uh, as well. My landing spot for Tom. I think you and I are in agreement with this because we talked about it a little bit off cast. We go ahead. You can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the GOAT of all time will unretire and join the San Francisco 49ers. Yes. And here's right. look, he's gonna go back and take Jimmy's job because he's pissed at Jimmy. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. But he's gonna go play for the hometown t- hometown team. He loved the Niners. He grew up watching the Niners. That was his team. He was heartbroken when they didn't draft him. They're in a situation right now. Look, Trey Lance is not the guy right now. I know everybody thinks that he is, but if 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 he goes, hey guys, I want to play for you for one year, they're like, oh, let's come on. He Trey gets to sit behind now, Jimmy and Tom, right? That team is built right now to win a championship. Yeah, they we were just, saw it. Like, we they, we they, just they were we saw away it. from being in the Super Bowl themselves. Absolutely, we saw it. Right, and, and they, he did too. He, so he did. did Tom. <laughs> They've got a young running back in Elijah Mitchell. Right, a great tight end, a gr- Debo Samuel. They've got uh, Kittle, like a, and the defense. The defense is a freak of nature with with uh, Bosa on the ball, Nick Bosa on the other side of the ball. The team is the team is good. The team is really really good, and it's, it's not what he cr- did when he left to go to Tampa. Yes, Think about the defense yes. that they had. Right, he's Think going to the- a, another carbon copy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, 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 what I what I foresee is him taking some time off. But Tom taking time off is not like you or I taking time off, where like we turn off our cell phones and you know we're just doing Jaeger bombs until our eyes pop out of our head. Like his version of taking time off is he's just going to hang out with his family and like look like a sissy going down a water slide. That's his version of things. So I don't doubt that this guy can keep himself in in shape, keep himself in check. And be ready to play football if he shows up at camp in June or July. The guy knows what he's doing. He's not going to go into spring camp anyway. They're not going to put him through spring camp. He's going to show up in camp. He's going to run a couple of drills. They're going to say, okay, you're still the greatest of all time. Here's the team that we're giving you. Thanks for the ring. This is how that's going to (laughs) go. That's how it's going to go. Zachary Whitfield says he won't come back. Look, and we're not saying you're not wrong or crazy, but it just looks – 
it's it's never never out of the out of the question. Uh, Muddy Water says QB hunting will be fun this offseason. Totally agree. We've have a little we've had some conversation for about sure. this already. What Wentz Wilson for sure. Brady back in the conversation. Rogers for sure. Tennessee Titans has, has been a topic of discussion for Rogers. Apparently building a little home there. Uh, Deshaun Watson, the guy shouldn't be in the league, but yes, there's a possibility. Kyler Murray, another crazy one, deleted the Cardinals off the social media. Everything, everything. yeah, they're gone. And that doesn't look like a situation where, unless something with the negotiations change, that they're looking to bring him back, which is crazy to me because Clingsbury recruited Kyler Murray to To Texas Tech. Oh, you know, to Texas or, Tech, to, yes. yeah, and then and he went to Oklahoma, but yes. but he, he when he had the chance to finally play or coach with Kyler Murray, he was super excited, and now it's almost like I'm, I left for a yeah. reason. Yeah, that divorce is that divorce is inevitable. <laughs> yeah, 